الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله It's important not to be so caught up with uh, possessions in the dunya. And this again is advice for myself and my brothers and sisters because it's easy to hoard. It's easy to collect. It's easy to think, oh, I'm gonna, I need this for later and I'm gonna have this and that and the other and worry about collecting wealth and hoarding things in this life. And using that and that, that to be a goal instead of a means to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned. He said, "What sallallahu alaihi wasallam in hadith in Sahih Muslim? Allah sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. Ida mata mar'i in qata'a amaluhu illa min thalath. That when a person dies, his deeds cease except three." The Prophet ﷺ mentioned about those three deeds. He said the first, he said it is a sadaqa jariya, it's the continuous charity. And then he ﷺ mentioned uh, knowledge that the people benefit from. And then he ﷺ said, Right, uh, a, a righteous child that supplicates on his or her behalf when they, when they die. Ahabatifillah, this shows us the importance of not getting attached to the dunya and that everything is going to leave us. For example, the person who's, who's married, your spouse is going to remarry probably. You know, they'll, they're going to move on without you. They had time with you, you were intimate, that was your spouse, you shared secrets, you did this, you did that. And now maybe they move on to someone else and they do those exact same things because they, they need to go on with life after you've died. And likewise, our families, our families will go away. But as the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, as one of those things that you leave behind is a righteous child that supplicates for you. So it shows us the importance of supplicating on behalf for the forgiveness of our parents for doing righteous deeds, but uh, supplicating that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives them and blesses them with Jannah to Fardos. So that's very important. And we hope that our children will remember that about us, remember that regarding us when we leave this dunya, to supplicate and seek forgiveness for us, for the many transgressions that we've done to our own souls and the way we've transgressed against others. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, so, uh, meaning the Sadaqah Jariyah, in the first uh, instance that the Messenger, alayhi salatu salam, mentioned, Sadaqah Jariyah, means the continuous charity. So, the person who builds masjids, the person who puts money and builds uh, Islamic schools, learning centers, the person who uh, builds a well that people benefit for even after they've died, the person who believes, who, who, who spends and builds a... Uh, a place where maybe students of knowledge or the hajjaj or you know people who make hajj and other things can benefit from you know something that's a continuous charity that continues after the death that people still benefit from that that those items or those uh, you know buildings or whatever the case may be and then the Prophet said knowledge in which the people benefit from so of course we see the great imams of the sunnah they're striving and sacrifice. They were tired. They, you know, people did everything to seek knowledge, lived and died and strove. And, and it was not in vain because we still benefit from what they left behind. And the great imams of the Sunnah and in, in, in leaving behind and, and preserving the Aqid of Ahl Sunnah and writing books and teaching and preaching the message of Islam. And likewise, as we mentioned, your children supplicating on your behalf. And we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us with all of those in this life so we can leave behind good and not be a source of sharr and evil and distractions. 
وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم